Uh, yeah, to explain what why what I whispered to you uh, as we were talking about random bullshit. Yeah, we can like roll again, assuming everyone's here. Uh, apart from Martin, of course. I'm here. I believe everyone is. And uh, I, yeah. Adam, are you with us? He's probably turned out his mic, to be honest. Okay, I mean, so, uh, we will hold with... Uh, oh, I, I died. The job. thing you had it open doors. What? The thing I was fighting, you had it open doors. He's playing a game. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, just wonder, can you roleplay or not? Oh, I'm, I'm done with the game now. Ah, okay. I died. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> So, uh, getting back to what I whispered <laughs> yep. uh, uh, to you, I forgot about that thing which happens when you were reading about the blade and when you found that bit about second one, uh, you hear a, a dark, uh, not loud, quiet chuckle in the back of your mind uh, that the voice you really recognize it really really well that says hmm that's the name I haven't heard for a while uh, what do you do how do you react uh, per physically you don't feel any any change like you don't feel any different is Adam in the room when this happens it's up to him. So I, know he was, I know he's been helping me with this. Yeah, but not not every minute of on yeah. of every hour. I ask him if he knows anything about him. <laughs> about who? The second one well, guy? Yes. I I ask the voice if he, if it knows anything about the second one. Ah, the voice. Okay. Uh, Are you here, Adam? Oh, sorry, I'd, I'd muted my microphone again. Sorry, sorry. No, oh, we were just wondering if you are... No, I, I was listening and I was talking and then okay. I realised you weren't answering. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so, and if you are asking the voice in the back of your head... <laughs> uh, he's... You, you hear, you hear, uh, uh, like, uh, patronising love, like... <laughs> and where would be the fun in telling you that? Oh, God, really? Jesus. Oh, this can save your life too if I know more about it. <laughs> you tell him. Why are you taking away? I lady? thought. I'm totally talking to myself here. I thought. I mean, I, I imagine in this the discussion is in your mind. Like, literally, you don't. Like, on the outside, you don't. Like, open your mouth and speak out loud. Unless you want to. It's so like obviously him. talking out loud. <laughs> mm. yeah, do the rest of us hear this? No, just Adam. No. I think only Adam's there. Mm. Uh, yeah, this this specifically is happening uh, in the library, in the you know specific rooms designed for reading the books and whatnot. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So pro probably only Lysander could be he there, but it's not necessary. So yeah, he says to you, and if <laughs> uh, and I and and here I thought you were intelligent to actually decipher and understood this text. Truly, if you think that I'm gonna perish with your death, <laughs> you really are stupid. I figured that, but it was worth a shot. <laughs> so how are you still inside of me anyways? Can you tell me that? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? As stupid as you are, I got <laughs> attached to you, I think. <laughs> yeah, so you, just you recognize the sense. voice and you also kind of get the feeling that he's slightly different than the last time. That he's acting not like, like mindless dark side that wants to take over you. 
And sorry, what you were saying. Sorry for interrupting. I just wanted to add that. That's all right. I just have to remember what I was saying now. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. So, are you just making comments to have a conversation then? It's probably uh -huh. lonely up there. I don't think there's anyone else in my he head besides me and you. Uh, I, I wouldn't say lonely. It's interesting, and after all, I can, I can at least piss you off most of the times. True. So, can I get back to reading now, or are you going to keep interrupting me? <laughs> Take a wild guess. Yeah, all so, right. uh, unless, unless nothing, uh, like, unless you want to, like, try to make a deal with him or something. Uh, there, there is like, you can imagine as you are reading and investigating, there is a typical banter in your head or not banter, but from time to time he's throwing some kind of comment at your that intelligence point. or something. I, I'm, sh I'm sure I c could make a deal with him, but I don't know what deal to make. I mean, he didn't specify, he just asked yeah. uh, why would I tell you that? So, Oi, stop barbarizing my tokens. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has the true faces around here. <laughs> what are you gonna do? End it. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. And if... <laughs> no! <laughs> we can't vandalize the page anymore. I totally wasn't calling in Kiro a scrub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, but really, let's, let's, let's play with the scene because... Fuck, yeah. I... <laughs> I deleted it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll make a deal with him when I need to. Okay. Uh, we can do the voice inside your head, man. Yeah, but I'll start talking to myself at some point and you guys will freak out. Because I think as far as nobody else knows this is going on. Yeah, unless he's talking out loud, which I don't think so, for now. No. He's, well, it's mostly been you talking, so presumably he's been listening, so we don't know at all, even if we are there. True. Okay, so yeah, that's the... Isn't the, 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 the most, uh, the most yeah. we can get from uh, this scene. And before Martin gets here, because I think we can do the annual uh, party meeting and discussion what to do, with me throwing potential angles, what you can do or what would be nice to do in the first place. Uh, let's roll with that social scene for you, uh, which is happening sometime before the ritual, but after you finished your research, so uh, that character is able to m find you and meet you somewhere in uh, Dragon Height. Alright. Uh, uh, so basically you stumble upon a person that... Uh, because obviously uh, as the time goes, like refugees uh, are coming, maybe not in a stream, but in uh, groups. And <coughs> uh, you stumble upon a person that you recognize, but uh, you immediately see that instead of a, uh, maybe not exactly happy, but like young face of a person that was amazed by what he was told about potential uh, greatness and heroism, uh, you, you are met by like haunted, desolated eyes of a person that was 
for a person too young that suffered too much in his life. You meet Kim. Hey. <laughs> oh, <God>. Right. <coughs> and the first thing you see, you uh, you hear, you, you fucking liar. No, oh, watch out. What did I do this time? Quite so. And yeah, you see that. Basically, from the last time, apart from Hunted Eyes, you see that st he still has clothes, but on some places they are like tattered. Uh, he's, uh, he has some scars on in some places that you can see. <sighs> oh yeah, I told you to join the order, and you went there. Your... So what What do you think happened? Mm, because I was possessed by something and killed the king and the king's son, they executed all my fellows as traitors, which kind of sucks, actually. Seriously, that's the line you're using? Um... <laughs> it's a bit of a <laughs> tall story, isn't it? Yeah, you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> that, that seems like the kind of thing the Empire would do. I should... Didn't think about that. Yeah, like, now. like he says. That's kind of bad. It's bad now. I don't care what you did. You, you fuck. You sent me there. You lied to me about this life of heroism. And what happened there was not a single bit heroic. Like you see, as he's talking, he's like, not really sobbing, but he's trying to hold back. Tears, like it's really clear that he suffered not only physically but mentally a lot, and he's like scarred from from what transpired back in the Azure Empire. The things I saw, the things we had to do to survive, you have you have no fucking clue what you what you did to me, what what your words like where it sent me, like. You, you are at fault for that. Let's calm down and go to get a drink and you can tell me all about it. How about that? Give me a diplomacy I check. I, I, I know this guy he makes some great alcohol. He lives in that flying castle up there. Ah, you are one to take him to the... Oh my uh, God, what was his name? Oh, right, yeah, sure, just a second. What was his name of that NPC? I don't remember. Although I don't think he was making uh, beer, uh, like alcohol. Oh. He was yeah. he was good at making food. Anyways. He made alcohol. Well, he made alcohol for when I had to cut off my arm. Uh, right, that's true. Yes, yes, okay, that's true. I remember that right now. 28. Yeah, uh, you rolled, but I said if you didn't want to, you could either get straight up charisma check or something. But yeah, you rolled diplomacy. Uh, uh, and he's like, like you see that his arms like were like his entire posture was tense, but after that he just gives a long, deep, suffering sigh and like like his arms like slumber down. <sighs> yes, I I need a drink, but. As you can see, you, you, you pay. Uh, I don't have anything. Wonderful. Alright, let's go. So, do you have a suggestion or should we use the guy I know? Uh, whatever. It just the, the scene is that with whatever alcohol you have, you are sitting together. Also, the rest of the party, I don't know, either Ginkir or anybody else. If you want to insert yourself in whatever way, be my guess. I'll insert my original character into this scene. That would be a good idea. <laughs> <clears throat> so, basically, I don't want to, like, roleplay the entire dialogue, but as you are start to drink with him, and you, like, what, uh, like, there are any specific things that you ask about? What happened? Uh, so, and, and and you told him that you basically killed the emperor or not? Because I don't, I need to be sure if that uh, text you put was a joke or not. Um, 
No, I probably actually said that. Okay. <laughs> so basically he says that after the entire like shitstorm civil war happened, thanks to you apparently. Uh one of the generals few days later probably somebody they they pretty quickly realized who it was or maybe the rumors even if they wasn't sure they had an idea and of course when they couldn't get to you they got to us and the entire order uh, a lot of our members for majority of our members I have n honestly no idea what their fate is but I know some of us died and believe me some of these deaths were not pretty some of us didn't have a lucky to die on the battlefield but were captured and oh dear gods you really those stories about what was happening in the prisons mm -hmm. and also the things we saw in the in the empire itself in the villages uh, massacres, rapes around, looting, it's just... No man should see something as terrible as this. War truly makes people monsters. Is there anyone else here besides you from the Order? I don't really think so. When I, I, the last I saw them, we uh, to get here, we like uh, we were escaping through deep marsh to try to de to lose the pursuers and reach Dragon Tail, and we there were some group of pursuers and we split up ways, and I didn't see them since. And it was uh, like a group of five to six people. I guess there are not many of us left. I am almost pretty sure that the uh, the master of the order. I, I know we thought of the name for him, but I have written somewhere, but honestly, I cannot find it right now. That I'm pretty sure he's dead. He was probably one of the first to defend the order when they came. And he put a hell of the fight from what I from what I've heard. I can imagine. Probably took almost an entire army to take him on. <sighs> well, for whatever good that did him, he didn't save his life. So here's what we're going to do, you and I. I'm going to continue saving the world. And you're going to rebuild the order using your castle. Uh, sorry, can you re like which castle? The giant flying one. Ah, of course. so so you want the new uh, at least for this plane Wait, of what? existence, new uh, headquarters of the order to be in your flying castle. Yes. Well, that would be interesting considering what I have planned next. Regarding Eternal Wanderers Guild. But that could actually be useful for us, because then we have a military force in the castle, instead it of just us. It could be useful for us, or it could really go badly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, yes, that's the DM's, uh, one of the objectives for the DM, to uh, turn back the things on the play, turn back the player's ideas on them. But haven't you noticed that's what Endeth does? It's our risk reward. <laughs> yeah. Takes the risk and hopes for a reward but doesn't get one. And then tries again. Something like that. And he, and he, and then the I mean he's like you, you know, this is after like after a few ales and he's like eh, let's see. I even give him plus five. And he's like... Ugh. I mean... I mean, you fooled me once. 
why should I like go oh, along with you now? Excellent. I mean, why should I trust you? Afraid everything. Mm. I have a giant flying castle. That should be a reason to trust me. Yeah, I I see. Or they, so they said. Um, sorry. Um, I had to go away for a moment. Hello, ah, no back. problem. Oh, I've seen you've been rolling a dice. What happened? Here, what can I do to make you trust me again? Oh, I see. Still having this conversation. Uh, like, you know what they say, trust is built with time. Of course. And if you don't stick around, then I can't rebuild the trust. <laughs> I love the fact that you didn't see it, but I did end it. <laughs> Point. <laughs> it's too red, dark, oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Eyes that looks really evil on him. <laughs> Why put you there? <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? I made two red dots on your visor made you look really evil and nobody noticed. <laughs> and I noticed. Really well, it was <laughs> really fucking small, but it doesn't exist. Never existed. Mm. Might soon. I mean, what? Anyways. Hmm? So. Yeah, I think this. You, uh, he says, like, point. I. I can stick around, although. I, I, I don't have anywhere else to go, like. My bucket. You can be. You get fed. There's equipment, we have funds to do it with. You can build a better order. And I don't even have to be a part of it. But it's still gonna be in my castle. Well, apparently we, you know, rumors fly around, and we heard things about the castle, and it's not only yours, from what I understand. It's the Eternal Wanderers. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, whoop, whoop. That's... We're all cool buddies. Kill <sighs> dudes, kill dudes. I think cool I can, I don't have anywhere better us to go, I can you stick are, I around. You see this cool elf who has been helping me do research on things. I mean, the thing is, I think Kim might remember some of you because... I think as a party you all met him first yeah. time, yeah? Yeah. You actually know everybody. Yeah, so he... he so I... Yeah, I think I remember... The and the dragon guy. guy, you remember him? Yeah, I also remember him. He's run somewhere, he's probably sleeping or eating another cow. Yeah, uh, by the way, Julius? Yes? You kinda disappeared from Roll20. Yeah, I'm having some weird connection problems. But... Ah, okay. Okay, so the result is that Kim decides for now Nothing to out of the usual. stick no. around and see how the entire thing will go. Obviously, you still have a lot of uh, place to accommodate people. After all, as I said, majority of the rooms is like as big as plot demands, bigger on the inside, yada yada yada. It's a TARDIS. <laughs> Probably. I mean... I mean, TARDIS I was, was one of the inspirations for me. Let, let's make our next in, uh, interdimensional transport uh, police box. <laughs> hmm. yeah. That people see five people going into at once. Uh, by the way, can technically speaking, somebody can check like in theory in how much time Martin said he will be back, uh, he will mm. arrive. Like how f uh, how long from now? He said uh, two hours, about an hour and ten minutes ago. Okay, so this is still. Time. 
Okay, uh, give me a few minutes to think about what we can do. Well, we're minutes, but yeah. And you yeah. guys can, because I imagine, like, if you want to uh, discuss about something. Also, a reminder from the last session, like you were talking about like, having equipment problems. Uh, yeah. You can you can still visit Titan Forge. Um, okay, but I don't have an, I don't really have enough money because I've still only got twenty thousand. I mean, uh, points. who necessarily said that the guy you will need to pay? Because I, I I didn't meet him the first time. I wasn't at the session when we first met him, so I don't know what his rules are. I mean, you can uh, at least. Some of you know him, so you can meet him again, because this dude, well, he remembers you, because, well, after all, you reclaimed his forge for him. And only only the last, the first time you were there, only then he, he had troubles with getting you specific items, because his forge was ransacked. And you can fairly easily imagine that probably he was spending that time that passed to gather resources, materials, and whatnot. Okay. Well, um, if we do go there, um, I hope we do get to go go there. I mean, I, I was going to, uh, because it's quite boring, I was going to message you outside of in the game time. Because um, it's yeah, a shopping list of boring stuff. But, um, uh, we can... I mean, I remember that you're saying to me about shopping list for a lot of sessions, but I have yet to receive one, so it might be... Oh, yeah, but I, didn't, I didn't know whether that was doable, but in that case I will do, sorry. Okay, ignore it then, ignore it for the time being. I, I mean, did, I, uh, I, you I don't did. need to prepare the entire list, but you can just go there say, hey, we need some serious firepower, you can okay. figure it out, like one rack strong magic item that you yeah. want to get, all of you. Yeah, okay. Let's see, I want to deck many things. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, no! <laughs> Yes. No, no, no. That goes for other campaign, much, much shorter one. I even have a name. I even have a name for it, the Harrowing. Dum dum dum. Harrowing. Let's well, see if we that. can get an artifact from the guy for all of us. Yeah. Also, as you like figuring this this stuff out. Just curious, not in character, but out of character in gameplay terms. Do you want to go... Uh, okay, this will be not really a spoiler because you will get soon that information. That... <clears throat> uh, apparently, you know, as the cult was going after villages, uh, something happens that... Uh, like this, you know, script activates and then you get information that there is something really weird and like uh, something really strong going after villages and it would be nice to and it might have been the uh, creation of the west that got loose and pointed into direction of, you know, kingdom of, of Asmarine and surrounding areas mm. Do you want that before or after ritual? Yeah, no, I'm interested in that. That sounds cool. I like helping villagers. <clears throat> this might not be. This won't be like attacking the main base of the west. No, no. But if you defeat this guy, there might be probably somebody else there. If you find them, then you get one last piece of puzzle to find the guy and finally yeah. take him out. And also, um, as, as we're speaking in game, but out of character, I know Lysander loves doing heroic shit like saving villagers.